just how to show the MATLAB version works. I run it in the Octave interface. This is Octave on Windows, so you can see it can work. And it will actually show you exactly what it does. So this is called a MATLAB script file. Script files have multiple functions in them. And that's what this is all about. So it starts in the first line where we declare that omega is actually equal to 1. And essentially that's a sensible thing to do because omega squared is a parameter we need. Then in the next, in line 4 to 6, we actually do show the function that calculates the derivative. We return the function as a list, as an array, essentially. And what we do in that array is that we actually remind ourselves that y is x and x dot are the components. So what the statement says is that x dot is x dot, right, y in 2, x dot equals the velocity, and the next one says the derivative of the velocity is actually minus omega squared times x, which is clearly the statement for harmonic oscillator. In lines 9 to 10, we declare a harmonic oscillator function, um, the, sorry, the RK4 function, which for reasons I don't remember anymore, I called MRK4 rather than RK4 because there were some difficulties with that. Uh, it takes the standard four RK4 steps, then defines in line 14 a new version of Y, and then essentially increments T as well, and it returns those as a very wacko way of returning stuff between square, curly brackets, which actually allows me to return a compound object consisting of two different style things. Then in line 19, the fun really starts. We define omega squared one more time, which I shouldn't have done necessarily, but essentially omega squared was, I had to declare omega squared global to make this work twice, and otherwise it didn't do what I wanted to do. Then we define y is the input values for x and x dot, the initial t, the step size h, and I use an array to store the t's, and another array to store the y's, and then what I do in line 25 is some substan something substantially fancy. I define a function handle by writing dy is at deriv, which is a way to allow me to pass a function as an argument to another function, which we clearly need to do to run the RK4 correctly. Then we take 2000 steps of the RK4 from line 26. In line 27, we define the result. The result is what we get when we apply the RK4, a single step RK4 on all the input parameters, then we need to update t, line 29, we need to update y, okay, and those are the things, and then we append the t's, the t to the list of t's, and we append the row y to the matrix of all y's, essentially, and that's why there's a semicolon in that line, because it essentially, otherwise it just gets concatenated and we get a linear array, we want a two-dimensional array, and it creates a two-dimensional array. Then we want to do some plotting, and we what we do to to make the plotting essentially we run extract the first column and the second column from the array wise, and then we define a figure. In the figure we plot essentially t versus y1, t versus y2, and we do another figure where we plot y1 versus y2, or in other words x versus x dot. So let's just run this code and see what happens. <laughs> 